up update time. Where are the videos been? I know, we actually shot a whole bunch of videos. I uh, brought the card home and it was corrupted. We lost everything, boys. And uh, that's, I think, one of the first or maybe second times it's happened in the whole time of power mods. Except for that time that Keeley left the uh, $4,000 camera on the back of uh, a Razor doing 60 miles an hour in the sand dunes in St. Anthony. Uh, yeah, that was bad. But yeah, we lost, anyway, so we're back. Don't worry about it. We had a great holiday season. I got my mittens on. So I just wanted to mention this. So a guy bought a pair of mittens from me and he received his mittens and he said, I'm returning my mittens because they're not like what you advertised. I'm like, oh yeah, what's going on? He said, they don't look like the ones you're wearing. I said, these ones? So these are five years old. These have been completely decimated. Um, all the real guard hairs are gone off them. They're sun bleached, they're fuel bleached. They're burnt in the fire. They're, uh, these have been destroyed in, in like, you, you can't believe it. They, this is what they started out like, I'll show you. So that's what, that's a beaver, that little beaver. So that's what they started out like, believe it or not. But when you wear them a lot, that's what happens to them. So, I mean, I could sell you these boys, but there's a lot of, there's a lot of history here, you know what I'm saying? So when you do buy a pair of beaver mins, I just want to point that out. You get, you get the, the real good beaver, and then eventually when you beat on them really hard like I do, so five years of Power Mods use is like 20 years of anybody else, but they're still good and warm, and I'm still using them all the time. I use them tomorrow. So there's that. Other things. Okay, so the Articat 925 Big Bore, very cool. We were waiting on some stuff. We got everything we needed, and we got this here. Check this out. The Dynajet. Park Commander 5. I called up the peeps at Dynajet and uh, I said I need the, the Power Commander for the 920, for the 800, the M800 motor, and, uh, but I need the one with the timing uh, adjustment. I said, well, we don't make that one anymore. I said, but you know, we're doing this thing, we're building the snowmobile, and I said, oh, okay, we'll make you one. So they made us one. So, uh, so this will adjust the fuel and the timing. So we're gonna get that on JAWS uh, dyno when, the, uh, when it's all back together, which is pretty soon, because Simon built this really, put these little adjuster blocks on here, and now the hoop is sort of set up. I'll fix that for you there. So now the hoop is sort of set up, and all we really need to do is just mount that up, put the motor in it, uh, actually, the track and everything goes on next, and we'll probably, it won't be tomorrow, but we'll probably do that on Thursday. Well, that's pretty cool. I'm very happy about that. And we figured out all our steering. You know, the behind the scenes kind of stuff. Um, what else did we get into? Oh, I want to show you guys this. Anybody who owns uh, a Polaris RMK, even the new ones, the new 850 Patriot, uh, this here, clutch alignment tool. Very cool. We sell these. I know, I'm always trying to sell something, right? No, but it's actually cool stuff, and it actually is very important. Guys going through a lot of belts, make sure your clutches are aligned. That's a big part of it. So we have these, very cool tool. Um, what else do you do? The RMK. So the RMK is all done. It's all back together. I don't have my key, so I can't start. But uh, yeah, she's good to go. Six pounds of boost. Um, we just got to pick up some uh, race gas for it. Or actually, we'll be running um, we'll be running av gas in it. So we're gonna go out and give this a try here, probably Thursday or Friday. Get it all dialed up because it's gonna be a little insane. We put some really cool uh, uh, clutching components in it from Indy Specialties. He made these. I wish I had the video. I showed everybody everything, but everything's stuck away in the sled now. Uh, yeah, really cool clutching components, uh, arms. You can adjust the weights very easily, especially for the higher horsepower uh, turbo sleds like this. His uh, Helix, which is a very cool design, and uh, he, he's tweaked a few things. Uh, so we're going to throw it all together, try it out, and see what it what it rolls like. Do some testing because we want to go riding in the Chick Chalk soon. Uh, that's out east, Gas Bay, Quebec area, and we want to make sure that she's dialed in. Six pounds of boost is going to be crazy. 
Um, okay. Okay, I, I couldn't help it. I found a stray dog, a little motor ski up there on the side of the road. The poor little girl. I had to bring her home. And which is cool, it's serendipitous. I think that's the word you use for this. It came at a great time uh, because I got this. We lost the inviter footage too. Oh, I had that footage of the inviter. That's too bad. So I bought a, uh, a Yamaha inviter. I'll put a picture of it. It's a cool looking old sled. Uh, I stripped it all down. I got the single uh, engine for it, the single um, cylinder motor for it. It's 30 horsepower, everything. So I ripped everything out of it. So that is going in that land. 30 horsepowers and it's liquid cooled. You wanna try that out? I know, I know, why don't you finish something first, Louie? Finish something before you start something. Because we're working on things, boys. That's how it's going down. Like we, we've got everything together. We just did a cool video on um, some uh, Yamaha exhaust products. We did that and we had a, a holiday season, you know. We work hard, so we like to hang out with our family during the holidays, but we're back in the full swing of things. Um, and what else, Simon? We don't have a whole lot of snow right now. I know, but it's coming. Um, Did you lose the DuraPro footage? I lost the DuraPro footage, yes. So what we do have, boys, come check this out. Very important, very important. Tres importante. These gizmos right here, these are DuraPro. These are like a poly type of uh, ski dampener. Very important. Anybody who rides one of these uh, Polaris RMK types, or the Gen 4 skidoos, you'll be going through a lot of ski bushings. You know what it's like, and they get expensive. If you put these in, you don't have that problem anymore. We sell those, isn't that handy? Uh, but really, honestly, uh, there's nothing worse than that because when they break, the front part busts off, and then when you go to carve deep, the ski just folds straight up to here and you're stopped like an anchor. It's not cool, it's not good. IQR, Rev, uh, IQR and Rev are good to go. We're just uh, tidying up the, the carbs in those. We're just waiting for the snow. The snow's the whole back right now. Hey, you know, the snow, it, it's, it's coming. But uh, it comes and then it goes. And a little bit comes and a little bit goes. So we're getting, we're getting in line to do some ripping. And I think that's it. Any other cool products, Simon? Anybody needs to know about? Did you post about the RK Tech pistons for the Polaris and all Yeah, that? we carry all the RK Tech stuff, uh, big board kits and pistons and all that. American dollar is a little killer right now, but we sell it in, in the States and in Canada. Um, we do have all these cool furs. So my son and I, we trap these and uh, we're enjoying that stuff. So we got them all tanned up. So we're having a whole bunch of mittens made right now. There's 20 pair being made at the fur year. And so I guess the, the uh, forgot to talk about this, the brute force, yeah. So we're dolling up the brute force and we'll probably sell it. I think we're gonna sell that brute force because if I sell it, then it's gonna force me to buy something else. And I think I have an idea what it is I'm gonna buy. So yeah, the brute force is gonna be for sale. Um, good, great run of machine, needs, a, needs some TLC, but as far as, uh, an off-roader, she's pretty, uh, pretty capable, right? Even with Simon driving it. <laughs> I'm kidding, Simon, he's great. He gets off and he pushes me out all the time. That's why I bring him along. Um, oh, oh yeah, 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 right here. These are very important. You guys running the revs? Somebody stealing your truck? Um, you guys running the revs? Where's the opener on this thing? Is it? I don't see it. This one doesn't have it. Oh, there it is. Kind of. Oh, come on. Get out of there. Rev reinforcement kits. Right here. That's what you need. This is what we install on all our revs. Boom. Look at those babies. Stop bending your sleds. And... I don't know, that's it. I'm excited about the turbo sled now. Really excited. 
mind-blowingly excited. Um, and the 925. So 925, uh, Simon, we're back in on Thursday. We're going to get the track and suspension in that, and then we'll start putting out some more vid. All right, so stand by. Uh, we're not slacking off on videos. It's just that when there's no snow, man, there's not much to do. Oh, check out this table. We're doing this. We made a table. What do you think of that? You like? It's walnut. We do it all here, Powerballs. <laughs> get your oil changed, get a table made. <laughs> Welcome to Power Mods Restaurant. <laughs> you can get anything you want in Power Mods Restaurant. Okay, let's roll.